Hello everyone and welcome to Slick Rides Garage. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this interesting World War II era table that I came across and I uh, wanted to show it to you and see if any of you furniture experts out there might be able to help me with a little bit more information on it. So this right here came directly out of an abandoned storage unit and it is a David Joel Limited table from London appears to have been built between 1942 and 1949. So let me show you how I know that is the uh, time span of when it was built. So we're now looking at the bottom of the table and on the bottom side here you can see this tag that has been placed on the bottom side. It says David Joel Lim or sorry it says handmade by David Joel Limited Kingston Bypass London and uh, this is supposed to be a like a, a library table like a reading or writing table or something like that but one of the other interesting things I found about this is, is, is this mark right here now if you look very closely it actually says CC 41 and what this is, this is a what's called a utility mark. And this mark is commissioned by the government of Great Britain, or the government of England, and that was uh, during the wartime. Uh, all items that were uh, made uh, that weren't for the war had some version of this mark on it. And that was to show that it was made to a certain standard and that standard was actually pretty low because they were allocating uh, a majority of the uh, materials from 1942 to 1949 for the war effort. So it had to have this mark on it right here to show that it was that the, its design and construction was in accordance with the uh, uh, the British government's uh, limitation of uh, of materials and stuff be uh, because they they only allocated just only so much for you know civilian so uh, they only allocated uh, so many materials for civilian use and so uh, what's <laughs> what's interesting about this is this table right here in in order for it to make that British standard that it actually was constructed of the uh, least quality materials available. The highest quality stuff was going towards the war. And what I'm finding out about this David Joel Limited table is that uh, they're actually, for, for being made of the worst possible materials available at the time, that they're actually an extremely durable table. And they're simple, too. And so, uh, at any rate, we'll take a look at the bottom while I'm at it. And you can see that this right here actually allows this leaf to drop down. Same thing over here. And you can just look and see it, how simply constructed this is. Of course, uh, I'll have to... Uh, uh, I'll have to, uh, when I turn it back over, I'll have to reset that. But um, but look how simple this little table is. I'll show you the bottom side. And uh, by the way, this is the only video on YouTube anywhere in the world with uh, a view of one of these David Joel tables. As a matter of fact, there's nothing about David Joel on YouTube right now part of the reason I'm making this video but uh, this is just a really interesting piece a very historic piece that was built during the war time but uh, at any rate uh, that's the bottom side of it there there's a couple more marks on it that I don't think are of any consequence or of, uh, of, you know uh, that identifies the table or what it is well here I'll just show you Look right here, you see one that says X37. 
there's that one right there. See now where? And then there's another one right here, just a stamping, 8710. And, uh, and I think there's another one here. Another one, it says XX37. I'm not sure what the significance of those marks are. Like I said, that's part of the reason why I'm making this video. Because uh, some of this stuff I still just, I, there's very limited information on the internet about this. I've talked to a couple of people locally, and uh, actually I've talked to quite a few, but the two who seem to have appeared to know what they're doing, uh, uh, they weren't able to tell me much about that. There is one guy who uh, has handled uh, one of these tables, didn't seem to know too much about it. There's another guy who really didn't handle any of them, but seemed to be pretty well versed in what this table is. And so at any rate, let me go ahead and... Uh, stop this I'll flip the table back over and uh, we'll take another look at the top okay so we are back looking at the top of the table and uh, by the way this is made of solid wood and it has a veneered top let's take a look at the veneer here guys look at this wood how it kind of glimmers it almost it kind of glimmers the this some of this area right down here sorry about the reflection spot there but look at that look at that veneer on top it looks like it's mirrored well here's a spot right here and there's a line right here I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video or not but uh, they actually mirrored this from one side to the other very well these are mirrored this side this side are mirrored a mirror images and then this side and this side are mirror images and so uh, the other thing that's significant here is this table is is wearing all of its original finish it's never it's never been refinished and to make it anywhere between 73 and 80 years wearing its original finish is pretty remarkable especially for it to be in this kind of shape there's some imperfections in it. You can see there's a couple of spots that aren't so shiny. There's another one here. If you look, you can see right about there. That there's a spot where it looks like maybe either the lacquer or whatever is on top of it has checked there, cracked and checked in that one spot. I mean, this, it's not perfect. Uh, but just for the fact that this table exists at all, is actually pretty miraculous. And let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put down this leaf right here. And so you have to push in on that right there, and then the leaf just drops right down. And that's the way it is on both sides. It's even curved like that. I mean, this thing really fits well. And so. Uh, at any rate, David Joel's uh, wife, uh, they both originally uh, owned the company that uh, handmade furniture, and his wife's furniture is actually in museums and stuff. And so uh, apparently they were divorced in 1939, and then David Joel took over the furniture making business. And, uh, uh, and so... Uh, this, from everything that I've been told, and since I don't know much about it, that really isn't too much. But everything I've been told about this table is that this thing is incredibly rare. I've seen a couple for sale, or that were previous for, previously for sale, on a couple of uh, European uh, 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 antique furniture sites or antique sites, and that they both sold. But... Uh, at any rate, I think one of the, here, let's put this up. Now watch this. When you put it up, it just automatically goes into place. You don't have to mess with any of the prop, of the prop rods down below. It just does it automatically. Pretty cool. But uh, someone, t one of the guys told me, I sent him a picture of this material on this top here, or the, the veneer on the top, and he said that this is burl walnut. But I have to tell you, I, I have no idea what this wood would be. 
But the one thing I do know is all the pictures I've seen of these tables on the internet did not have a veneer on it, anything like this. This veneer is, as far as I can tell, it's the only one I've ever, I've seen. And that's with pictures, not that I've ever seen one in person until now. But as far as the pictures go, none of them are like this. They're all just uh, like a regular wood grain and not this curly kind of uh, shimmery reflective material here. I mean, I just absolutely love how that, you know, when you move, you see how you could actually see how it almost becomes reflective in a way. It's just so cool. I mean, look at that, how that just becomes reflective all the way across there. Probably one of the coolest veneers or coolest woods I've ever seen. I have no idea what this is. But wow, it's really something else. Okay, so if any of you happen to know uh, for sure what this, what, this, uh, um, uh, what this veneer, what the type of wood is in this veneer is, that would be really cool to hear from you, and, you know, because I'd love to know. And if you have any more information about the table remember it's from uh, it's from David Joel limited in London appears to have been built best I can tell from 1942 to 1949 let's take a look at the bottom so you can see the feet I absolutely love this table guys and the fact that this <laughs> came out of a I came out of uh, uh, abandoned storage in Brookline, Missouri. is uh, is pretty cool. But if any of you happen to know anything about this table, I would really love to hear from you. Please drop down into the comments and let me know. And um, uh, also, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Drop down, make some comments. Oh, and when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when new content drops here on Slick Rides Garage. Appreciate y'all taking a look at this, and uh, well, we hope to hear from any of you furniture experts out there. Thank you all very much, and uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Later.